Jesus really looked this good? What are those things on the whips? Why are they nailing him on the wrist and not the palms like we've seen before? Was the cross really that horrible? All of this and more as we watch through this pretty cool anime rendition of the cross. against our law for us to pay taxes to the Roman Emperor or not? Show me a silver coin. By the way, if you read the scriptures, you're going to find out that Jesus, according to scripture, wasn't really a good looking man. It doesn't say that he was ugly, but essentially what it says is that he wasn't anything to look at. Meaning, if you were to run up against them on the street or you were to pass him by, you wouldn't notice him because his looks were pretty average. Jesus, speak to us. Whose face and name are these on it? Caesar! Caesar! Then give to Caesar the things that are Caesar's and to God the things that are God's. So this is not really shared in the Bible. I'm assuming this is going to be um, one of the thieves on the cross. Um, but, I mean, it does say that he's a thief. So I think that that's what they're show showcasing here. <laughs> All right, so you see right there, uh, let me, I was going to point, like you guys can see my finger on the screen, but right here, those were bones in different animal uh, carcasses and things that they would put on the whips in order for it to grab skin, right? So this was meant to really punish the person that was getting whipped. <laughs> You know, I love how, and I don't know if you guys noticed this, but um, that thief, he's almost <clears throat> reflecting on who he is and who Jesus is. If you think about it, like he's thought about the crimes that he committed. He's looking at Jesus and the punishment that he's receiving and how he doesn't deserve it. At least it seems like that's what's happening based on his facial expression. This is no ordinary mystic's garment. <laughs> Here, let go! No, don't tear it! I, I tell you what! 
Let's play for this! Get on with it! This is interesting. They actually get this right. Uh, there's a lot of images where you see where they stab Jesus here in the palm. And really, uh, in, if you think about it, if you nailed somebody here, they would it would just tear up the skin. This is why they, they did it actually right here. So it's cool that they got that right, that detail right. Another fun fact, well, it's not fun, but the reason why they would put that plank there underneath the feet, it was so that the person that was getting crucified would push themselves up, right? So they could breathe. Because remember, when you're like this on the cross, it's, it's restricting your lungs. So by them doing that, people, they could push themselves up and then they could breathe. So this was really meant to be um, cruel, gruesome, and extend the suffering of people that were getting crucified as much as possible. One of the things that I will say about Jesus' condition here is that he's too clean, right? And I get that it's an anime, but if you look at um, Isaiah, I believe, it describes the condition of the Messiah when he's on the cross. And it says that he was unrecognizable, that you could hardly tell that that was a human face, that that was a human there. So, um, you know, what you're seeing here when it comes to uh, the pain and the anguish and the condition that Jesus was on, it, it really doesn't do it justice. Forgive them, Father, for they don't know what they're doing. Save yourself if you are the king of the Jews. He has saved others. Let him save himself. Aren't you the Messiah? Save yourself and, and us. Don't you fear God? We received the same sentence he did, but he has done no wrong. Remember me, Jesus. When you, when you come as king. I want to share something here because I've been talking a lot about salvation and repentance and belief recently. And here you can see the clear difference between the two thieves, right? You see one that it seems like he believes that um, Jesus is God or the Son of God. But the true um person that believes and this is why you know we're gonna see him in heaven is the other thief because he doesn't just recognize that jesus is the son of god but in his actions in the things that he says to jesus he is accepting lordship of jesus over his life so there is a clear difference and i think james and i've shared this before talks about it there is a faith that leads to salvation and one that doesn't. The faith that doesn't, he compares it to the fact that even demons believe, right? Uh, showcasing a faith where you understand, you may, um, you may, <clears throat> you may logically or even intellectually understand that Jesus was the Son of God, but accepting that lordship over your life right accepting him as lord and savior that's 
was saved. It's not just the knowledge of knowing that he was and is the Son of God. I promise you, today you will be in paradise. Dude, that With shot. It's nice. Your hands. I commit my spirit. See how they're breaking their legs that goes back to what i was saying uh, if they wanted them to be done to to die essentially they would break their bones on their knees and on their legs so that they could not push themselves up anymore and also that fulfills a prophecy of jesus actually where it says that not a bone in his body was broken I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, even though he dies, he will live. That's right, amen. I gotta say, overall, this was very well made. Like, the production is great. Um, I would recommend that you guys watch this. I thought it was, it was cool. I mean, I hope that these guys get some type of budgeting so they can do maybe an entire life of Jesus with as high of a quality as this. So this is what I wanted to share with you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Uh, were there any facts that I shared with you on this um, video that maybe you didn't know? So that's all that I had for you guys today. Please make sure to share, like, and subscribe, guys. I want to grow this channel as much as God would allow, so your support would definitely be welcome. Um, as always, I just want to remind you that we must persevere.